Hi guys, this is Miss Anderson, and I am going to show you a quick tutorial on how to create a TouchCast video. So uh, first, go to the catalog and install TouchCast, okay, um, to your iPad. And so when you first um, install it uh, and open it up, it is going to ask you to, if you want to either create a new account or if you want to sign in. Go ahead and sign in. Uh, I am going to send you my username and credentials for you to sign in. Uh, you do not have to create a, a, an account if you do not want to. Um, it is easier with your own account, but you don't have to. Um, you just will have to remember that using my account it is a free account and so I think you're only able to like save uh, two or three projects at one time so once you have saved and exported your project you will need to go in and delete it so that the next person will be able to uh, create their project as well alright so once you are signed in to the app okay and you open it up it's going to default like this so as you see, I do have my camera covered because for the purpose of this video, I just wanted to demonstrate to you um, how to create a video, okay? And so um, down here, there are many tutorials that you can watch, okay? And up here, where um, here is where you would have some projects if you had created um, uh, previous projects in which I did go in and delete all of my projects. And then here is where you would have a new TouchCast. Okay, so TouchCast, this is a great app, guys. I would advise you to really, really uh, take a look at all the possibilities that it can do. Um, so if you scroll through here, it will tell you all of the things. It will show you all of the things that you can annotate. For example, you can start from scratch. You can annotate a web page, a video, images, maps, pretty much anything that you want to annotate, okay? Um, but for the purposes of demonstration, I'm going to go back and show you how you can use the images in your camera roll, okay, to create a video. All right, so I have some, it, it will automatically default to your camera roll, okay? And so I am just going to hopefully very quickly uh, choose some uh, photos that we can use for this demonstration. Okay, I'm not gonna choose that many, maybe three or four. I have a lot of pictures of the crime scene in this camera roll that need to probably be deleted, which I'll be doing that once we are completely done with unit one, okay? All right, so I have about four photos, okay? All right, so I'll click on use. It'll place those photos down in my tray, and now I can go back. Maybe. Okay, there we go. All right, so now this is your TouchCast screen, okay? I'm gonna use my pen here because that feels a little better. And these are my photos down here at the bottom, okay? Now I can click, hold, and I can move those photos around, okay? Um, these photos will be in order as your video uh, is created. So you want these photos to be in order, okay? All right, just a few things about, um, so you can record yourself here speaking, in which I'm going to do that in just a second, okay? But over here is where, now it's up to you to, um, to take the time. Uh, I can't demonstrate all of the features, but I just want to demonstrate a couple of them just to get you started, okay? But TouchCast is an awesome app, and so the whiteboard, um, the green screen, we do have green screen at school, the green wall that's in front of my classroom, um, that will work as a green screen. If you want to add effects, the effects are awesome. Uh, hand claps, yay, in the background. I, I mean, <laughs> oh, the creativity that can be used with this app. Okay, let me get back. So this is the way, so the camera would be on if, um, if it wasn't uh, blocked there. And so this right here is what I wanted to show you, okay? So right now is defaulted to where, you, so let's go ahead and select the picture first, 
okay? So it's gonna pop that picture up in the screen. So if I were to push record, then it would record me with this picture in the background. Well, right over here or anywhere that I wanted to move it, okay? Now this little section right here, it can do um, other things with the pictures. For example, it can make the picture half screen. So I could have me on this side and the picture on this side, or it can do the picture whole screen with just my uh, voice, or it can do the picture with just me over here in the box, okay? So I'm pretty sure you've seen videos and podcasts where, in fact, I think, uh, the uh, video of the blend spaces, this is probably what he is using. He is using a screen and he is annotating on that screen and I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second. And he just has um, a still black, photo, uh, black background up and he just annotates from there. Okay, so say for example, I wanted to, let's go here, okay? Um, so I guess you're wondering what your first project is going to be about. And so it is going to be about, and this will be in the email that I send you, but just as an example, it's going to be about demonstrating what you've learned in unit one. Okay. And I'm going to give you, um, all of the requirements or all of the things that you hopefully have learned in unit one. I'm going to put that in email. Okay. And one of the things that you have learned, hopefully, is how to identify the elements of a plot in a um, in literature, in a novel or a piece of fiction or a book or anything like that, okay? So, uh, as you know, the elements of plot include exposition, rise in action, climax, fall in action, resolution, uh, protagonist, antagonist, conflict, and then a theme. All of these things are included in the plot of a story. And so you could use this and you could explain this for either your story, which would be awesome, a story that you have read, for example, the ebook that you should have read and to finish with by now, or a book that you have read in the past, because all you are demonstrating is um, the elements in that plot. So this would already be completed by you, and I just simply took a picture of a blank one, and so you would go through and describe the exposition, the setting, the introduction of their book, um, and you would just go through all of the elements here. Now, let's go to effects so that you can learn how to annotate, okay? Um, let's see. No, that's your green screen there, but we're not wanting to, to do that. Um, whiteboard. Um, is that, let's check this out, okay? Let's give it a color, okay? Let's use a pen. And let's see if we are able to, yep, there we go. So you could either fill it in as you go, or you could annotate what you have already had there. So if you wanted to say, okay, and this is the resolution, and my theme is this. So that's the way you could do that. Um, tiles here, new tiles, V apps. Okay, so that is where we, we were at first, okay? All right, so what you would do is when you're ready to record, okay, you would hit record. Okay, it would give you a countdown and then you would just start recording. This is just a test to show how I can um, annotate or create my touch cast. Okay, I'm going to go back to my whiteboard and I'm going to talk about the exposition. I'm going to talk about the rising action. I'm going to talk about the climax of my story. Okay, then if I wanted to add some effects to it, I can where are my sound effects um uh whiteboard tiles maps okay there are sound effects but they are not popping out at me at this particular moment um i do know that there are sound effects because i have used them before um hide vamps mm. No, we don't want to do that. How do we turn that back on? Let's go back there. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. 
we're still recording okay so we're gonna go ahead and turn that recording off okay um, I did want to show you the sound effects um, those are the visual effects there um, but the sound effects are somewhere on here with last save and clear tiles what's a new tile tile from the list okay I think I need to add a tile all right so the um, the effects are not popping out at me I'm not quite sure why um, sound effects oh, oh my goodness right there so in your video Why, thank you very much. I know this is an awesome, awesome tutorial. Um, your video, you can add. <laughs> oh, so I can get lost in these sound effects. They're so cool. Uh, but there you have it, the sound effects. All right, so once you are finished with your video, okay, I'm going to go back um, in my email and tell you exactly what your video should have. But... This is just a demonstration of actually how to use uh, the app. So once you are finished recording, okay, uh, and you're going to have to do this a few times, and you will want to write your script down, which I did not. I'm doing this freestyle, which you don't want to do because I want your video nice and smooth and without interruptions and, you know, that like I was looking for the sound effects. I, You know, I prefer not to have that in your video. So go ahead and write your script out on what you're going to actually say. Um, there is a, uh, under the whiteboard here, there is a, um, a, uh, a, a scroller that you can type in your, um, your script if you want to. You will have to explore that, okay? Um, let's see. I think that is it for TouchCast. That was just a very, very, very basic uh, tutorial. And so once you're finished, you will hit done. Okay. And then it will ask you or will, it will have export TouchCast there. Okay. Um, we're going to allow. Uh, let's see. We're going to give it a title. Okay. And we'll just put example. You would put your name. Let's close that and see. Okay, upload to you. No, save to camera roll. Yes. This option will save to your touchcast into your camera roll as plain, non interactive video. And that's what you want, guys. You don't want to upload it to YouTube. Well, I mean, if you want to, if your parents, you know, you have a YouTube channel, your parents have consented and you feel your video is internet quality, then by all means. But, you know, for the purposes of our class and this project, then your video does not have to be um, on the internet or interactive. So um, this option just saves it to your camera roll, and then you're gonna hit share, okay? That prepares it to be ready to send, export it and sent. And then you're simply going to uh, watch it first, and then you're going to send it to me if you are totally happy uh, with your, your, your. So this was exactly example. Okay. And let's go back to our camera roll. Video. And then you would just start recording. This is, uh, let's see if that's it. Just go there. Uh, what is this one? That's just a photo. No, I don't think it's here yet. Let's go back into TouchCast my projects there it is example okay let's try to export it again and let's hit save to camera roll 
and let's hit share. Okay. Alrighty, let's go back to our camera roll. And then you would just start recording. This is just a test to show how I can um, annotate or create my touch cast. Okay, I'm going to go back to my whiteboard and I'm going to. Okay. So once it is in your camera roll, then you can simply share it with me. So you will send it via email. You can save it in your OneDrive. You can save it to the cloud. Okay. Um, of course, you know what to put here. Um, let's use fourth period. Um, let's put touch cast um, video and let's use fourth period okay and then you just add my name Okay, and then you hit send. All right, guys, there we go. Quick and easy. Bye.